Today we're going to have a look at the video paragraph type that's in um, the local gov distribution, uh, local gov paragraphs module. So what's happening at the moment is let's let's uh, we get a piece of content. Some content types have paragraph types so, and some don't. So say the service page here, or at least on mine, the service page has. I think I might have had to install that separately, but not hundred percent sure. Uh, no, I didn't actually. It's 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 a it's a dependency. So if I come down towards the end of this, I get this section here called page components, and I can add or select a page component. Now this select component part of the of this actually means we have reusable paragraphs. Uh, so here are available components. I can select paragraphs that we've already created or create component. I can create a new one. So I won't add from the library. I'm going to create a new one here called video. And we will add media and put in, a, let's see, I'll get a URL for this. So it's YouTube. Um, local gov grid system so this is the video i did last week on a proposal for a, a new grid system for local gov that doesn't rely on on bootstrap so we'll put that here and add it and i think that's a, as much as i need there and then insert selected i think yeah so this is inside the video this is inside the paragraph type now and i have to give the paragraph a label so we, we it's unique and we can uh reuse it later on if we need to so i'm going to call this one here uh, drupal local gov new uh, grid system okay i think that's there let's save this page and see how this looks so out of the box this is what happens we we, we have a video here and it works the place but it's very small so really the video probably should take up 100 percent of its container and then after that we can we can we can we can decide what container we want so using the grid system maybe we could actually say that this takes up you know the container itself would be 50 percent of the screen or uh you know 66 percent of the screen or wh whatever we want but at the moment we're forcing all videos to be i can't even get an inspection on that um we're forcing all videos to be what? What's the inspector telling us here? It's a uh, two hundred pixels by one hundred and fifty. So let's first figure out why that is. We can see here width two hundred, height one hundred and fifty, and it's coming from local gov team slash template slash field. So okay, that's just rendering the general field template. So let's have a look at our manage display settings. So this is a uh, this is a paragraph type we come to paragraph types and let's find the video paragraph type here and manage display so this video field has the label hidden and it's rendering an entity that's good so it's going to render the media video media entity and it's rendered as responsive three by two now i'm actually not sure what this is I'm, I'm guessing this is this is an image style kind of view mode type thing that, that we want so let's have a look at structure media types remote video manage display and we should have a responsive three by two as a display type here and we don't so the only display we've got here is default so 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 this is falling back to to our default which uses this view mode here that we're currently looking at it's an o embed content i don't know does this have a setting for doesn't have minimum or maximum but I'm, I'm guessing that's probably in the o embed modular somewhere so if we come down here to custom display settings we should have responsive three by two enabled now i'm not sure responsive three by two is is the correct name for a video um these look more like these are image styles responsive banner responsive three by two newsroom teaser um I, I i would probably say that we um let me think i'm guessing that we need a view mode for that's called something more representative 
let's uh, let's enable three by two for a second. Okay, so we're enabling three by two for the remote video. Um, for the remote video media type. Now, when we come to three by two here, um, we got O embed content still. I wonder, should we? Um, let's just for a second see what happens here. We, we, we'll put this to we'll say six hundred by four hundred. That's that's three by two. So at least uh, the dimensions are representative of the name of the of the view mode and we'll save that okay so now our video here should at least be using a view mode that's correct or that that's set up yeah that looks good so that does give us three by two but the the aspect ratio for um for youtube i'm not sure if it's three by two so let's have a look at uh youtube aspect ratio in pixels 16 by 9 okay is that 3 by 2 i wonder uh we divide that by 2 we get 800 by 8 by 450 divided by 4 we get 400 by no i don't think it's 3 by 2 so um let's maybe set what 1920 by 1080 again this is more to see so we can see things properly and then we look at the templates in a second so 1920 by 1080 I, i'm guessing that's three by two this seems to suggest it is here and we refresh this now this should be taking up the full oh should take up the full container i was going to say um maybe the video itself then from youtube isn't any more than that let's see what we get here um article with 600 by 400 so that didn't update structured media remote video 1920 by 1080 pixels there's no extra spaces there before the text no and on after it now that looks good so we update that <coughs> oh do we need to save down here okay uh, come back here to refresh there we go. Oh, I guess it's not going to get any bigger than that in terms of a uh, you know, 1980 by by 1080, 1920 by 1080 for a video. So we can look at the container now to see how do we make this better, or how do we make this more? I don't. Mean, let's even see is is this video responsive? So uh, as our screen gets smaller, what's happening? This doesn't look like it's getting smaller. This looks to me like it's just cropping off the sides. Okay, so that says we don't have a responsive video. So let's have a look back here at our O-Embed settings, video URL, O-Embed content. No, okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we do here. So let's, let's start looking at the templates. I'm, I'm gonna actually change change this to uh just to let it fit back in again the way it was so i'm going I'm to change this what did what were we suggested here uh 640 by 360 just so it fits in our area a bit better 640 by 360 and save it and refresh this page okay so what i really want to look at in this video then is the templating system we've got around this so if we inspect our element again and we find uh we've got a template here modules contrib local gov subsites modules local gov subsites paragraphs templates paragraph dash dash local gov video so let's have a look at that uh that was web modules contrib local gov subsites modules templates paragraph local gov local gov video this one here okay so this from the top here looks like it's a paragraph type video or sorry paragraph type template with which would have all the default 
paragraph classes and things. But if we look down here, all we've got is <coughs> a responsive container as a class. And I've no idea what responsive container is. Looking at the name of it, it looks like it's it it is if a video is inside this, that video will become uh, responsive. Let's have a quick check on the CSS. Local gov accordion box links media subsites paragraphs. Okay, do we have responsive? No. Okay, let's check through all of our CSS. Okay, so the word responsive doesn't show up in our CSS anywhere. If we come back here to uh, our Drupal installation, we click on responsive container, we get, oh, from pagebuilder.scss, so that's in local gov underscore team. And this says position relative overflow hidden. So I guess that will be, the relative container then will always have position absolute or something on the video, and then we can use CSS to size it, I'm thinking. Um, I'm not sure we should need responsive container there. I I, I think I, I think what we we should expect within a template for a paragraph is that we would have the Drupal paragraph classes at a minimum. Now, if we want to have responsive container and things like that in it as well, I'd say like that's fine. But but they should be extra classes that get added. But any front end developer should expect the the, the default. Um, the default classes that come with node and come with paragraph and come with block and things like that. So let's 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 grab the um, paragraph.html.twig um, template and see what we're missing from that. So paragraph.html.twig. So we can see this is all the same as what we have at the top of our file. So we're, we're we're using the same one, but we've we've removed all of this. So let's get this back in. So now we've got a classes array that will give us a type of paragraph, paragraph type, paragraph bundle, view mode, paragraph view mode. And then to get those to work, we need to add in attributes that add class classes. <coughs> so let's do that here. I'm going to comment out this one for now because I'm going to actually put it up here as well. That's one that I think we shouldn't be using. And then we probably should not render content dot local gov video. Rather, we should render. Well, let's actually stop for a second. We'll just refresh what we have here. Okay, and media power of local gov video. Okay, so this looks more droopy now. We've got a class for a paragraph, paragraph type local gov video, paragraph view mode default. And a quick edit entity. So if we had quick edit module or whatever installed, we can we can use that here because attributes adds in this first. And I think these are important things uh, from a Drupal perspective. The video still hasn't changed, so the video is still doing what it was doing a, a moment ago. Um, if we make the screen responsive, I'm guessing it's still not a responsive video. Okay, it's not. So it it, it maintains its height, but you can see it just. Uh, it just crops off the sides of it. You can see there with the sidebar. Okay, let's remove that again. So let's come back to the template. Uh, if the responsive container wasn't doing anything for us, I'm just now at least anyway, I'm going to remove that. Um, now we're rendering here just content.local.gov video. If we add any more fields in here, for example, if we added in a, a caption field for the video, or a title field or something like that, that will never show because all we're rendering here is, is, is just this one specific field. And it also means that the, the caching metadata will not bubble up uh, the way we would want it unless we add in something like um, catch cache equals content and render the content and the content itself will just be this field here. So that's not going to make a difference uh, in terms of what gets displayed on the page. But I think it would be better here if we actually render the full content variable because then we can say that the video file will render out and any other fields that we happen to add to it. So let's uh, leave that like that. Okay, and then we'll refresh this again. And we get the very same. So that's still working on a more simple template. So now we've got 
our classes array and we've got our content rendering what's starting to happen here now is that this um paragraph type is looking identical to this paragraph type here to the sorry to this paragraph template um the only thing missing is that let's let's actually make these side by side so um let's see now yeah so the first 40 lines are identical then we've got our classes we've got our classes then we've got this block here called block paragraph i actually don't even like block paragraph here i don't see why, why that's needed um i'm not sure what paragraph template would override block paragraph and put in something besides the paragraph fields in it um so i don't think that's necessary but that's that's an issue with the paragraphs module not with not, not with what we have here so then we've got our div attributes add class classes and that's the same here and then we've got a block content and we render the content and again i don't see the point in in, in block here from the paragraphs module but that's a, another issue then we render content itself so now this this paragraph uh template here is the exact same as this one here we can if we want add in these so that's pretty cool what that means then is that we actually don't need uh this paragraph template here at all paragraph local gov video because all we're saying is to make this easier can you just render exactly what drupal tells us to render what the drupal paragraphs module tells us to render so we refresh this here and that's good but the issue that will happen now is that because because we've got this very specific template paragraph local gov video inside um our module if we do want to override this at a team level so if if, if i decide actually this default template here this is what i want to use I, I don't want to use the one that comes with the module that, that, that has the, the responsive container class around it um that means then i've got to maintain a template called paragraph local gov video inside my team and the only thing it's going to do is reset all this back to using the default paragraph classes and i don't think that's i don't think that's what we want to do so i'm going to copy this um template here just to to, to, to kind of show what i mean and inside my team <clears throat> so the team we're using here is called local gov underscore base templates um new folder i call this one paragraphs and inside paragraphs i'm going to put in local gov video now if i come back here to local gov video and i set this back to the, where it had been so we can see now this was responsive container and this what i don't want to use what i want to use is this one here i'm now maintaining a paragraph template that i shouldn't need to maintain just because i want to override what came with the module to actually reset this back to the default of drupal so let's let's now refresh um or flush these caches all right and then we can check here again and come back up to here so begin output from modules country local gov soap sites oh actually do you know what this is probably using the local gov team team rather than local gov base it is okay let's set local gov base as our default hopefully things don't break refresh here and we'll check the template in again so now we can see here now this is using teams custom local gov base templates paragraphs so what what i've done now is i'm overriding um the module template so that i can provide the default paragraph template and that doesn't that doesn't seem sensible so instead what i would like to do is uh let's delete this from here and then on the local gov video this is what's in the actual module i'm going to just put an underscore and old and a hyphen so this template won't be getting used anymore so what i'm actually proposing here is rather than fixing up this template we just remove it altogether so one less template for us to to need to worry about so I, i'm going to clear the cache here again 
and now we should be using the default paragraph template. Oh, hang on. Modules, contract, local, gov, subsites, modules, paragraph template. Not defined. Okay, so that's looking for this template here. And it can't find it. And that is coming from... Um, let's have a look at modules, local gov, subsites, paragraphs, dot module, video. Okay, so we've defined a template here saying that if you're using the paragraph called local gov video, then you need to use a template called paragraph local gov video. I'm not actually sure why we have 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 these here, um, because I think we 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 could just use just use the default paragraph templates if we need it. So let's I'm gonna just I won't delete it, but I'll comment this out just for now, and then I'll refresh this template modules contrib local gov subsites modules local gov subsite. Mm. I see, can I clear the cache maybe from here? And then refresh this page. Okay. So that looks good to me. We now have, I think, Yeah, so here, here we are. This is given us our default Drupal classes. And the template we're using is modules, contrary paragraphs, templates, paragraph.html.twig. And that's good. And we already have these file name suggestions. So I'm not sure why we need to create these ones here. Because these are already given to us by default here by the paragraphs module. We have paragraph local gov video default for the default view mode. Uh, paragraph local gov video for all paragraph local gov videos, paragraph default for all paragraphs using default view mode, or the default paragraph template itself. That's just a base fallback, and that's what I'm using here. And I think that's good enough for what, what we need. When we define these over here, it means then that Drupal is going to say, hey, hey, hang on there, I can't render this paragraph type because you've told me I need to have this. And you don't need to have this, as we can see here. We, we're just rendering using the, the the, the, the local gov, um, uh, sorry, the, the paragraphs default. But what you can do is you can say, I want paragraph dash dash local gov video dot html dot twig. So you can say that and you can come to your uh, team and then we'd, we'd say at a team level, if the team wants a specific, specific, um, uh, wants a specific template for a video or for any other paragraph type, then the team can have that. And here we can render, I'm going to render a content um, and div dot, uh, what do we call that, responsive container. Okay, so this is a very simple template for, for this. But what we're saying now is that if a team wants, wants specific classes, for whatever reason that are outside of the, the remit, we'll say of local gov Drupal core, I don't mean Drupal core, I mean the core of local gov Drupal. Then this should now get picked up with, with that class responsive container and I'll, I'll add in a class called Twitch just so we can actually make sure we can see the, the slight difference that, that this creates. And now if I, if I uh, flush the caches, this will stop using the uh, template from the local gov Drupal module, which doesn't exist anymore as, as, as we saw a second ago. And then it will it will use the template from our team instead, so we can see that here, responsive container Twitch, and this to me makes a, a much better, much simpler system for how templating can be done with Drupal, and it's using the Drupal core way of doing things, and you know the default class is given from paragraphs and things, and then we 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 just add templates if we need to add them, so there's less for us to maintain, and if paragraphs ever get any features that are any new features. 
we'll automatically get those new features, whether it's new classes or something else. We won't get those if we're maintaining our own paragraph templates. So back to the, here now, I actually don't need that paragraph template here we saw, and we've commented out this, and instead I'm going to delete this. And I don't see why we can't delete all of these as well, because <clears throat> these as template suggestions are available from the paragraph module we we don't need to create these uh, and we don't need to, main, to maintain these so that's it the, the, the video isn't responsive um I, I think that's something that maybe we could look at slightly slightly later uh i'm kind of surprised actually we don't have a responsive um setting here for o embed um i guess we could look a bit more if we hmm. O embed content. I wonder do we have something here for O embed? No. And no uh, media types. No. I am. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where. I, I know there used to be a setting for videos to show, you know, render them responsively. Um, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure where that's gone now or how to put it in. Um, manage fields, video URL. It's a plain field, no geocoding. Field settings, yeah. I think I'm, 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 I'm really just clicking around here with, without knowledge of where I'm looking to go. Um, on the URL and back to manage display. Okay, and then I guess we won't need this responsive three by two if we're just using default here. So there's a few things anyway with the with the video um, paragraph type that I think we could we could definitely clean up I'll, I'll, I'll create a pull request I think for for these and uh, we'll see how that does or see where we get uh, with that so that's it I am off unless there's any questions we have no questions okay let's go let's finish bye bye